Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the audio track recording modes in Reaper. And I have a track here where I want to record my guitar. So I'll go to the input and choose my guitar where it's plugged into my audio interface. Then I'll turn on input monitoring so I can hear the guitar through the track while I'm recording it. And then I'll go into record. So now I'm ready to record my guitar to this track. Now, if you notice, there's a lot of effects on the guitar, but they're not being recorded to the track. They're on the track effects right over here. I have a delay and a reverb. So if I turn them off, even after I recorded it, the guitar is dry with no effects. So I'm only recording the guitar and not the effects. The effects are being applied afterwards on the track. So I can turn them on and off right from here. And that's because the default mode for recording in Reaper is the input. So if we go over here, this is where we choose the modes for what we're recording. By default, it's the input, whether it be audio or MIDI, but we could change it over here. The second mode is MIDI overdub replace, which only applies to MIDI. And I'm going to show you this in a separate video. Just know that this mode can be used for MIDI. But the next option is record output. So instead of recording the input of the track, we can record the output. And we could choose what type of output multi channel, stereo, or mono, or latency compensated, or not. Let's choose mono. And let's delete this. And now let's record again while playing the guitar. And let's see the difference. It still sounds the same while I'm recording, but if I take it out, I record, and turn off the effects, the effects are now printed with the audio. It's no longer dry, but the effects are now mono because we chose record output mono. The effects we're using, the delay and the reverb, are both stereo. So we should really choose this option record output stereo. So let's record it this way. Delete this, turn back on the effects, and now let's record the output in stereo. Let's hear it back out of record with the effects turned off. And now the effects and the guitar are recorded in stereo. And the entire track is considered, not just the track effects. It'll also record the volume. So let's put this back and do it again. But this time, let's fade out the recording. And notice it faded out the guitar and it printed it that way. So it recorded the total output of the track. And it'll also record automation. So let's clear this, put the effects back on, and let's create some volume automation. Hit V. We'll create an automation item down here. Let's double click it to adjust it. Let's set up an LFO using parametric. Make a whole bunch of cycles. Readjust the amplitude. 
So it'll sound like this. And now if we record the output of this track, it's going to record that automation. Check it out. So we can turn off the effects. We can clear the automation. But it's still going to be printed on the track. So it's a great way of capturing anything we have on the track, whether it be volume, pan, or any effects we want to print. But there's a few other modes we should check out. Let's clear this. And we could also choose record input force format, which is going to force it to be mono, stereo, or multi-channel, or even MIDI. So if we choose mono, it's going to record the input like normal, because our input is mono. But if our input was stereo, we could choose this mode, and it's going to force it to be mono, whether it be stereo piano or stereo guitar, or we could even force our mono tracks to record stereo. Now this guitar, which is mono, is now going to be stereo. Left and right. Or we could choose multi channel or force MIDI over here. Because by default, if our input is mono, it's going to record in mono or stereo or multi channel. But if we want to force it to be different, we can just choose it here input, force format. And then finally, we could choose this mode. Record Disable, or Input Monitoring Only. So if we choose this, and we go into Record, it doesn't record the guitar. Now you're probably thinking, how is this useful? Well, it makes sense if you're recording other tracks. We have a MIDI piano right here. Let's say I wanted to hear my guitar. I'll record the piano, but I don't want to record the guitar. If I choose this mode, record disable, input monitoring only, we're just going to hear the guitar through this track, but it's not going to record. So we still recorded our piano. But we didn't record the guitar, but we heard it at the same time, which is really useful for choosing hardware inputs like keyboards and synths or guitars or even hardware effects that we want to hear without recording. Or if you're using these things for live use, where you want them to play through Reaper, but you don't want to record them. Another great usage is if you're using a talkback mic where you're talking to the talent or if they're talking to you through a mic, you want to have it go through Reaper, but you don't want to record it. We'd use this mode right here. Record Disable, Input Monitoring Only. And you should also note, we could see what mode we're in just by looking over here. By default, when we're recording the input, it looks like this, where it says IN for input, but if we choose output, it says out and tells you what you're recording. Or if we choose record disable, it shows neither, letting us know which mode we're in at all times. So that's pretty much it. That's the audio track recording modes in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.